Thank you. The pandemic caused a lot of folks to suffer from anxiety and depression, and that really showed up with a recent spike in prescriptions in the year 2020 compared to 2019. But some people can't take medication because of the side effects. As we bring in anchor Wendy Ryan now anchoring our live in-depth coverage tonight of all kinds of medical breakthroughs happening right here in Tampa Bay. Uh, Wendy, there's now a new option for people who can't take antidepressants. Yeah, that's right, Paul. This new technology is called TMS or transcranial magnetic stimulation. It can literally stimulate the brain and change the way it functions. And I found out for some patients, it's permanently improving their depression. On the surface, a depressed brain looks much like a healthy brain, but inside the differences are unmistakable. During depression, the brain isn't operating at full strength in the area responsible for emotion. Depression has often been treated with medication, but for those who can't take antidepressants, a new technological advancement is giving new hope. It's an FDA-approved treatment for depression. It was approved in 2008, and uh, essentially, it was designed to help people who didn't get better with antidepressants. Dr. Fazi Ahmed is a psychiatrist at Tampa Neuropsychiatry. He's now performing TMS, or transcranial magnetic stimulation, after new research discovered a person who suffers from depression has a brain that looks different than a normal brain. There's a decrease in frontal lobe activity and an increase in the deeper brain structures that uh, generate emotion. This new technology stimulates that frontal lobe activity with an electromagnetic pulse. We get dysfunction of the neural circuits that regulate emotion. So with TMS, we're, we're, we're correcting that problem. We're normalizing those abnormal circuits. The 20-minute sessions, five days a week for seven weeks, is an intensive schedule, but the treatment is working. If you go through the protocol and you have success with it, meaning the depression is gone, <clears throat> in the next one year, there's about a 30% chance that the depression will come back. 70% chance it won't. Those are you know, interestingly, those are good numbers for us. And if you're concerned because it sounds invasive, bringing back old memories of shock therapy, Ahmed says it's nothing like that. In fact, most patients don't feel much at all. When you send a magnetic pulse, you're stimulating everything from the skin down to the brain. And so the muscles of the scalp can contract. And so people feel that. They can feel some tingling. But... Uh, you don't necessarily feel what's going on in the brain. More recently, clinical trials have been studying TMS to be used for other psychiatric disorders, including PTSD, autism, OCD, ADHD, nicotine addiction, and anxiety, with varying stimulation depending on the disorder. These newer protocols are looking at delivering more pulses with less amplitude so that the strength of the pulse is less, but you're delivering more treatment. Like training a muscle, over time, the inactive signals begin firing and reconnecting properly again, and thus restoring the emotional control center. And despite the research still in its infancy, this new technology gives Ahmed a great deal of optimism. In my experience, I've been able to get people off of antidepressants, which, you know, is preferable. Meanwhile, TMS costs anywhere from four dollars to $8,000, depending on your insurance coverage. But Medicare and Medicaid covers it, as well as other commercial insurance companies. And most will even pay for treatment again if there's a relapse in your depression.